Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Watson690, and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Here's the star of the show, Matilda, but before we begin, can I just remind you all to go to justgiving.com slash mod1982 to give to Papyrus in the aid of prevention of teenage suicides. Now, here's your host, Mod1982. Okay, okay, Watson, that'll do, that'll do. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, that idiot just said most Watson, who wanted a hijacking of the intro just then. And we're back at long last with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And where are we? We're in Austria, yes. Um, I believe DF educated me as to where we were then. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll take that one. We shall take the 22 tons of arsenic around. Uh, um, basically, guys, first off, I just want to say I'm really, really sorry for the lack of proper episodes in the last couple of weeks. You know, what with the, uh, the episode 20 with Matilda's Greatest Hits, which you all have loved, apparently. Uh, thank you very much for watching that and for sharing that with your friends, because that's gone <sighs> mental. Oh, a parking place. Uh, we're getting tired, are we? Okay, we're getting tired, apparently. I see a resting place. Um, never mind, Tilty. Let's get going. So, I'm sure you may have been aware. If you're not aware, basically, I've been really ill the last couple of weeks. Throat hasn't been working properly, and. That sounded healthy, Tilty. Do we want to buy a garage? No, we don't want to buy a garage, do we? Why am I even going in there, then? Wow, I'm already waffling. Great start, mod. Great start. No, we can't take any damage. We're not allowed to take any damage because we're on that challenge thing. The 10 episode run of the uh, No Repairs challenge, and we are on episode 2 now. And to try and make up the complete lack of Euro Truck and proper Euro Truck in the last couple of weeks, this is going to be a double run. We're going to make two trips in this episode, so twice the entertainment for everybody. Recruitment agency, yay! Let's just keep on going, keep on going. Stop yawning, I'm getting there. In we go. Stop. Rest. You're getting some rest. There we go. Lights off. And away we go. Well, oh yes, I've been really ill the last couple of weeks. Had this strange cold slash flu thing. It's not been very good for me. Um, I've had an, it basically had an ear infection, a throat infection, and this cold thing all at the same time. And there was uh, various issues downstairs as well to go with my normal IBS related problems, which is always fun. And uh, let's just charge through here, Tildy. Yes, charge. Don't pull over. Where are we going anyway? Uh, that way. Yes. So I haven't really been able to record anything that I struggled recently to record Formula One with Watson and that was barrel last recording that. Don't pull it Oh no we're not going there. Why did I do go in here again? Oh my god. I mean I wish I could do this Oh! Oh bollocks! There we go. First point of damage taken guys. One down, ninety-nine to go. Come on, Tildy. Steer. Jesus, we don't want much, darling. Just turn. Turn. Maybe we should slow down a bit for corners, actually. Never mind. Here we are. Pick up the job. And... The job expired. Fantastic. That's not good. I wanted to do... Two short trips. Oh, God, it's an eight-hour run. Why, 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 why? No, let's... I should have picked up the job then slept. What else have we got? What else have we got? No, we need something in touching distance. 
Lince to lince? No. No. Lince to Stuttgart would work. Yeah, screw it, that'll do. Let's go to where this other job is. Oh, just next door, that's okay. Move, you horrible bus. Okay, anything coming? Anything coming? Wow, we're moving a whole six mile an hour in reverse. Fantastic, Matilde. Go, 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 go. Oh, we're only going over there, that's okay. I hate that I always waffle when we're doing, going through these beginning parts of picking up the load and I just can't get on with the whole fun part that is driving. I mean, talking. Ah, oh. I'm still suffering a little bit from the illness. It, I, the throat's working though, so that's the important bit. I mean, so I can actually talk to you guys now. Uh, ten. Oh, fireworks! Ooh, I'll take them fireworks, please. Although I neglected to check um, how long we've got to do this job. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Interesting way in and out of here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Time to hitch up. Come on. Come on. Come on! You're not very good at this precise stuff anymore, are you, Tildy, since we upgraded you? Bump. And away we go. Let's just uh, concentrate on getting out of here first before we carry on with any more of the talking. God, I miss doing these Eurotrip videos. I really did. It's not been fun. The last few days, all I've been doing is um, doing my best to just keep quiet and not hurt my throat any more than it already was. Um, it's been quite frustrating as well because on Wednesday I'm going on holiday and I've been trying to record a backlog of footage to actually go live when I'm away and go away. And it's not been fun because I haven't physically been able to record anything. I haven't even played games while I've been ill. I haven't really done a lot. Although saying that though, um, I was able to go to work. And that's a story I shall talk about in a bit. Because that's a very, very unhappy story there. Mod was not happy with work. In fact, work wants to have a, a quiet word with themselves about how stupid they are. Although not the work itself, the agency. But like, like I said, we'll get to that in a bit. So, yeah, hello everybody, I'm Mod. We're back at Eurotruck. Now it's time to get on with the talking part that you all love. Uh, we last did the proper blog style video, ooh, just about two and a half weeks ago. So we're well overdue on updates. And episode 22. Because I didn't put a video out on Thursday because of being so ill, and this is now being recorded at 10 to 3 on Sunday afternoon. So it's going to be a struggle to get this up for 8 o'clock because it's going to have to render and it's going to have to upload as well, which always takes forever, especially on a Sunday. Basically, I'm just going to upload this so if it goes live before 8, it goes live before 8. If it goes live after 8, it's just going to go live when it's ready, guys. So I do apologise for taking so long with videos, but I've been poorly. I'm going to, that's going to be the recurring theme of this blog of this blog entry I feel um, so last time two and a half weeks ago we were on 218 subscribers at the time of the recording we smashed through that we're now 265 that's uh, that's quite a lot of the last two and a half weeks and I'm still pinching myself I'm greatly appreciative of all the support I've had from you all from the likes, the shares, the comments, the comments, especially the bit I like the most, guys. Because I, 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 you may have noticed the channel's actually small enough at the moment for me to actually take the time to reply to everybody, and I, I am making quite a few friends now. It's quite a lot of fun, and we've also had new people commenting, uh, say, saying that they think I'm awesome, and it's apparently my fault that people are buying your road truck now. So I don't know how to feel about that last one actually. Um, thanks, I think. Yeah, thanks. Um, nice to know I'm responsible for some good in the world, I suppose. Uh, to celebrate hitting 200 subscribers, I was going to be releasing the Kitty Cat video, where I introduce you to my three wonderful 
feline friends, but because of waiting for the weather in the UK to pick up, it's now a really nice weekend, actually. So last weekend, I dragged Watson onto camera duties and we recorded it and we were at the time it was 246 subscribers so I thought we'll just hang on a little bit longer just make it go live for the 250 make it a bit more special rather than here's a delayed video it, you know, it's delayed anyway but might as well make it for a proper occasion rather than this is something that should have come out 50 subscribers ago and yeah the, lad, the lads and sweep they all seemed happy enough to partake in this recording I mean I was happy enough to uh, allow the cats to join in. Uh, who doesn't like cats anyway? It, seriously. How about you, Tildy? I thought so. Yeah. You you just tell yourself that, darling. So, 265 subscribers. Wow. That's that's just going right up. I, I'm just like, I'm still seriously pinching myself. Um. Also, let's, let's not forget, not only is this a 10 episode run, we're in episode 2 now of the No Repairs Challenge and we've already taken one point of damage because I wasn't watching where I was reversing just now. Fucking idiot mod. This is also part of the Million Mile Challenge where we are racking up the miles with uh, over 7,000 miles now. Is that on the dash? I can't really read that properly because the Majestic isn't properly optimised, I think. So yes, um, we are Million Mile Challenge. And not just that, but we're driving for charity. And we're splitting the million miles up into quarter million mile blocks, and the first 250,000 miles are being driven for the Papyrus charity in the United Kingdom, helping teenagers with their depression issues and re removing the stigma associated with teenage suicides. In fact, suicide full stop is a bit of a taboo subject, especially in kids, because, oh god, what have you got to be depressed about, you little, little boy or little girl? Well, it turns out kids have quite a lot to be depressed about, especially when they've got hormones flying around all over the system. So, uh, I've been, for the first... Whoa, 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 don't, do, don't, don't, don't! Fucking hell, that was close. Holy shit. Um, so, yes, that's um, an important subject to me because of my own experiences with depression and amusingly old oh, frame rate. Wow, I'm trying to... You, a slightly different method of recording, recording to my main hard drive instead of the external. I'm still getting my frame rate. Fantastic. I mean, frame rate issues. But anyway, get, that's getting off subject. Uh, I'll, if you go over to justgiving.com slash mod1982, you can go donate some money. You don't even need a PayPal account. You can just use PayPal to use your credit card and donate a cent, a dollar, a dime, a euro, a pound, a penny, whatever. And it all adds up and it all helps towards helping these kids get over their issues one way or another and it's a very crude way of looking at it but well what was that oh loan installment that's okay I could live with the loan installment repayment um, but no I, I'm happy to announce that for the first time since the live stream on episode 10 we've had a donation uh, we're now on 40 pounds in total getting closer to our goal of 500 pounds although the, the goal may change depending on how well I do in this challenge um, yeah, and uh, also there's a comment attached to this donation from an anonymous donator who really isn't that anonymous because their name appeared in my email. So just in case you did actually want to keep your name anonymous, I'll keep it anonymous, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it quiet just in case, so that's all I'll say. Um, they have, let's turn off here and get some fuel actually. And uh, as I've said before, if you make a donation, if you could be kind enough to leave a suggestion for the name of the new truck when we eventually get it, then um, that name will be basically put into a hat and drawn out at the end of the current run when we get the money enough to purchase a new truck. And the suggestion for the new truck by our anonymous donator is dead metal. I like the sound of death metal for a new truck, actually. It goes with Matilda. It is very much like the United Kingdom's Robot Wars series. It is what the suggested... The other name that the donator suggested was Sergeant Bash, but I prefer dead metal. Dead metal will be the one going into the hat, sir. Or madame. 
So thank you very much for that. Again, all your donations are welcome. All this money will go directly to P P Papyrus. And oh, thinking of Papyrus, I got a letter from them the other day. I need to, I, I need to pull over real quick and actually find this letter and I'm going to have to read this on this live stream. This is going to be awesome. I'm just going to pause here for a moment, guys, and I'll be back in a, a moment or two. Or three. All right, and I'm back. I can't believe I forgot about the letter. I've been, I've, this episode plan is nearly four pages long in my book of planning. And I can't believe I completely forgot about the letter. Papyrus sent me a letter, which I'm honestly quite... Oh shit, I've got a queue behind me. How bad a queue is it? Oh, I can't see that side, it's all... I pulled over, guys, come on! Anyway. Let's get these fireworks there in one piece. I'm sure I'll find some fluff there to fill the time while I'm pull <laughs> pulled over to the side of the road. So, uh, Papyrus seem to be under the impression that uh, my fundraising is over. They may have misinterpreted my communication somewhat, as charities sometimes do. But I'm quite happy. But um, yes, this is dated the 4th of June, so a whole five days ago I received this letter, just about. Dear Mod, thank you for fundraising for Papyrus. We received the £35 raised from your online video live stream. Your support of Papyrus helps helps us to prevent young suicide by running our advice helpline, Hope, Hopeline UK, and offering practical advice, support and information to anyone who is feeling suicidal or worried about a young person they know. In 2011, over 1,700 people, that's 1,700, Young people took their own lives, making suicide the leading cause of death in young people. However, because of your help, Papyrus is able to continue working hard to help save more young lives, and we are very truly grateful for your generous contribution towards that cause. It goes on to explain about should I wish to for any further information or whatnot at the bottom of the letter. And once again, thank you for your thoughtful. Oh! Oh, what was that? What the. Okay, let's, let's just carry on. I'm sure I can watch that back later. I'm trying to drive and I'm looking down at the letter. But someone just tried to nerf us, did they? I'm not sure. Anyway, once again, thank you for your thoughtful donation towards our cause. It's greatly appreciated. With best wishes, Laura Green of the Papyrus... Oh, shit. There we go. Of the Papyrus organization. Oh, yeah. Yay! I haven't given it the fundraising yet, guys. I, I'm still going. Still going strong. We're on 7,153 miles according to the speedo. Wow, I can read it for the first time ever. 7,154. 55. Okay, fine. 56? Oh god, we're shifting. We're really shifting at the moment. And um, we're still going to keep going until we hit 250,000 miles for the Papyrus charity. Um, so yeah, uh, it's quite nice timing. Two bit, two updates for the charity work. Papyrus have acknowledged my existence, basically. <laughs> uh, it's always um, quite heartwarming to know that my, uh, not just my efforts, but yours as well, guys. It's nice to know that our efforts combined are actually making a difference. You may say it's only thirty-five pounds, but that thirty-five pounds could get a tea, could get a cup of tea for the lady sitting on her phone. Or more importantly, it could be a personal drive to somebody's door to go, "Hey, do you want to talk?" It, all these little things add up, guys, and uh, also with the extra donation to the fund pool, as it were, we're also getting closer towards hitting the goal. And what happens when we hit the goal, my friends? My hair gets chopped off. Of course, by the time we hit the £500 mark, I highly doubt... Oh shit, wrong fucking way. How do I get out of this now? Sat nav correct, please. Sat nav update. I don't want to have to turn around the wrong... I'm going to have to turn around, aren't I? Sat-nav. Sat-nav. Why isn't Sat-nav updating? Fuck it, let's be... Whoa, whoa, don't be... You can see I'm about to turn around you. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Not bloody there! Oh, thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Although now I'm going to hit the cargo on your cap. Where's the invisible wall? There's going to be an invisible wall around here. Oh, I hit you. 
Cargo's okay though, we're fine. Why is the AI so bloody retarded in this game? And there's the invisible wall. Back it up a bit. Come on. Around, around, yes, there we go. Wow, just a bit of a traffic jam and creative because some people didn't read the sat nav properly. Chuk, 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 chuk. Well, that's a sight and a half. Let's set off the screen overlay. There we go. Beep. Yeah, don't do this at home, guys. Whatever you do. Oh, yeah. I'm turning across all these lanes now. Smart move, mod. Smart move. Never, ever be a truck driver for real. Ever. <laughs> right, we're on the right track now. There we go. Back up the ramp we go, we're getting there. So yeah, justgiving.com slash mod1982. Oh, you... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Too busy folding a letter up to try and put it away. But the cargo's fine, the cargo is fine. That's the important bit for me. The cargo is fine, because that's the bit that makes the money. Although that's 3% damage now. And I've got to make another trip in this recording yet. Fantastic. Hey, we've waffled enough about charity and everything like that. It's now time to bring you up to date with SES blogs. Normally I do channel updates first, but first thing, there's a really, really important blog that SES has put out. Uh, it's about a, sc a current scam that's going on. Uh, basically it claims to offer the, a multiplayer mod. A lot of players have requested a multiplayer mod and SES have said there will be multiplayer at some point and I'll get to that in a bit. But this uh, offer says yes you can have your multiplayer just sign up here answer a questionnaire and please feel free to be uh, giving us your pay details so we can steal your money because it claims to need a monthly subscription what it does is just basically you give them your credit card details and they take all your money because it's a scam and um, you should never ever pay for mods guys never pay for mods unless they've directly come from the guys who make the game such as for example the upcoming DLC which will include Eastern Europe. Uh, SES, so you can go on to say in the blog that you should never get pay for your mods and you should never give modders your payment details. And SES are very aware about the demand for multiplayer content, but that does mean turning the game into an MMO, as they need a persistent world to play in. Persistent meaning, you know, because you take one job, it would mean removing that job from the market for another player to acquire, and so, so on. Your actions have an, have an effect on other players, basically. That sort of persistence. And they, they have been thinking hard about the possibility of multiplayer, but uh, it's. Um, they have also made. Prepare, prepare, I've got this all written down in front of me and I can't read my own writing. They've made. Prepare, they've prepared for it a little bit, <laughs> but it's. Um, a long way off having official multiplayer, a long way off. So, um, in my opinion, it may be such a big con uh, such a big thing to include multiplayer into this game, because they haven't included it since the beginning. I think, personally, it'll be either a completely new game from scratch, such as Euro Truck Simulator Online, or maybe even Euro Truck Simulator 3. That's my opinion. I don't think it'll be an official patch for Euro Truck 2. Especially since it takes them so long. Whoa! Fucking asshole! Get back, you bastard! Go on, go on! Fuck off! Fuck off! I take a point of pain to damage you a fucking well, bastard. In fact, I'm often to nerf you. I haven't nerfed a car in a while. Who wants to see me nerf a car? If I can catch up to him, I'll nerf him. Okay? Deal. Three, two, one. No one said no. Okay, fine. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna nerf him. If I can catch him. FB in the keyword, there he is. Whoopsie! Slipped! <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there goes my nice bonus paycheck for not damaging the cargo. 
Oh, Matilda's on seven percent. Right, no more nerfing cars. Stop being stupid, mod. <laughs> stop being stupid. I'm stepping by today. Yeah, I'm, you can tell I'm making up for lost time here, can't you? And that's going into the next greatest hits video. That was a great hit. Whack! Right, right up the rear. Um, <laughs> and there's also getting back on subject though. There's a second blog that SES has announced. It's um, further updates on the Ivico Stralis Highway and they've put a few screenshots up of this new truck in Slovakia. Slovakia being one area that I know a lot of people would be very keen on. Oh, excuse me, I had to mute the mic there because uh, I've still got a bit of a cough from my wonderful illness that's prevented me from recording recently. Sob, 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 wine, wine, wine. <laughs> I'm such a pathetic sick note. Uh, there is going to be an upcoming patch, but they don't announce a timescale for this patch. But it will include the highway, and they also plan on releasing new trucks and configurations. I assume configurations is cab space and wheels at the back. And they will be planning on releasing these trucks and other updates free of charge. However, DLC, I believe, they will be charging for. Which is a shame. I mean, I'll still probably pay for the DLC because it is worthwhile and if it makes the series better then why not get back or I'm ramming you as well you yeah, know fuck it no no I said no more no more no 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 must not hit him must not hit him where is he anyway he's gone he's fucking completely in my blind spot completely if I oh there he is <laughs> oh oops I totally meant to do that honest he wasn't supposed to be there like that Um. Thinking of mods and maps and whatnot, uh, the Scandinavian mod has uh, been progressing nicely in the last f two or three weeks since the last blog version of this series. Uh, they've completed Helsins Helsinki 100%, I think that's how it's pronounced, I apologise if I hammed that up. They've been spending a lot of time adding custom flyovers and various fast food chains, McDonald's and Burger King, and um, the team has a dilemma. I'll put a link to the Scania mod in the description, as always, along with the wanting Mercedes and Euro truck, because everybody wants the Mercedes now. But then, if they do introduce the Mercedes, they need to give the truck a facelift, which I shall get to in a bit. Um, if they release it soon, they can get it released in a month or two's time. But they also say that uh, they can wait for a little longer for the new patch which suggests to me that the new patch will be coming out in about two or three months as opposed to any time soon. Which is fine, I can live with this. And, oh, traffic? Five o'clock rush hour. Oh, actually, whoa, whoa, guys, whoa, don't slow down that much. Fuck's sake. There's a lot of traffic here. Why? Why, guys? Why? Why are you going so slow in the inside lane? I fucking hate that in real life when people go slow on the inside lane. Oh! 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 That's alright. Not any more damage. That's okay. So it doesn't sound like a new official patch from SCS will be coming anytime soon. Certainly not for at least another two or three months, but the Scandinavia mod guys are basically saying that they can release the patch sooner, or we can wait a bit and make it more compatible with other mods so we don't have to start a brand new game save file. Uh, the new patch will be basically encouraging you to make better mods, specifically map ones, because they're splitting the map up into different districts, so you can actually bolt a map onto a district as opposed to the entire map, so you can add multiple map mods. At the moment you can only really add one map mod, by the looks of it. Because if you try to add a map mod, it'll overwrite anything previous. But if you add a map mod to the new districts, then it'll only add to that district, and all the other districts will be available for bolting parts onto, if that makes any sense. And I, for one, say wait. I'm more than happy to wait for the Scandinavia mod. If it means that we get a few more cities, it's, if it's more polished, and we've discovered Stuttgart! Yeah, it's already happy. We're happy. 
what we've got to discover in Stuttgart then. Let's take a round trip around Stuttgart before we go dropping off the cargo. It's not like we're going to get any more bonus. Oh, a majestic dealership. Ping. Thank you. And that'll be a recruitment agency then. Don't mind me, I'm coming through. Completely disregarding the rules of the road. That is a recruitment agency, I thought so. I can actually stop in there? Okay. Yes, 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 red light signal. I don't care. I'm just going to get this done. So yes, there we go. That's my opinion on the Scandinavian mod. And uh, that brings us nicely up to date with blogs and updates. There's no word on Mercedes being included in the game yet, which is a shame. We'll just have to settle for Matilda being the ugly the duckling, as it were. <gasps> Forklift! And... Let's see if we can do what Gamesaurus does and park it without changing camera. I know I like to change camera, but just for once I'll try it without. Come on, come on. We could do this. We're so close already on our first attempt. I don't, just so you get know, guys, I don't actually play this off camera. I only ever play when I'm recording. And I record everything I play. So come on, Tildy. Right hand down. Yes. A little bit more. Straighten up. Oh, 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 too much reversing. Right hand down again. Is that precise enough? No. <laughs> Is the answer to that question. But that's not bad from the first attempt at reversing without changing the camera. And I don't know what's in front of me. I really should be watching where I'm going. That'll do. Oh god, this is a lot harder than it looks. It really is. It's much easier reversing the Fiesta, I tell you now. <laughs> oh god. And... Parked. Reasonable. Oh, we've got an upper level. Yay. So we can get just in time. High fra Let's unlock some extra goods at the top. Yeah. Do you want to... We don't want to worry about eco-driving just yet. So we've got explosives. Gases. Flammable liquids. Flammable solids. And corrosive substances. Let's go for flammable liquids. So we can get ourselves some petrol, diesel, kerosene. Ding! Pull forward still deep and then let's turn off the engine so we can save ourselves a little bit of fuel while we look for another job because we're going to do this, as I mentioned, a. Oh, upgrades? What can we go for Tildy? Light stuffs and... Okay. Uh, not in my interests to upgrade Tildy any further, if I'm honest, but... Please say it's another short job, otherwise I'm going to be so annoyed. That might be too short a job. 43... Oh, no, it's not 43 minutes. So a three-hour trip? Actually, that might not be too bad. Have we discovered Sean? No. That's a really big dot digger. And it's a seven hour drive. We got enough there to talk about at the moment? Uh, got through two pages worth of crap, so <laughs> let's see. That one or that one? The short one or the long one? Let's take the slightly longer one. There we go. Wrong button. Why did I do that one? That one. Tildy's in 7% damage. Not good. We'll soon be at the point where we actually start taking 
like where we start slowing down properly because of you know the engine malfunctions and gears start being missed and this is not good for us do we need to rest actually uh, we'll be all right take the job Flag, which is over yonder. Oh, it's two of them. Different, different. A backhoe loader and a don't know. <laughs> you think I'd know what the names are used by now because you're going to work with them. And that's what we'll talk about next, actually, work. For those that aren't aware, I work at Caterpillar. And I work in the store specifically. And I pick parts and then I pack them and then I put them into various bins ready to be shipped across the country. And I also have an extra special responsibility of um, delivering some parts. Oh, there we go. Some parts I have to deliver across the entire branch because I work at the main site in the United Kingdom and we have uh, new prep areas, we've got welders, a defence area for MOD, we've got a paint shop, there's also the general repair branches, we've got pretty much everything at our place and we have a little truck that we fill up with items and I deliver it once every couple of hours, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2 and 5 o'clock. <laughs> uh, a big responsibility because I'm de if I don't deliver the parts on time then the guys working in the shops fuck their customers over so I take it quite seriously oh 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 don't you dare you bastard let's see if we can get this one there without taking any damage let's also see if we can pull over and sleep first that would be a smart idea I think before we continue how long have we got on the job 21 hours oh yeah we could afford to sleep rest easy Must repair to already. Now the reason to say we're going to talk about work and uh, because, because this relates to me being ill lately and work being rather douchey about this. Actually it should be more accurate, it's not Caterpillar that are being dicks, it's the agency I work for. And we should continue this once we've had a sleep. Once we've had a sleep. Okay, I'll park in that one then. Okay, I won't park in that one then. Getting some rest, getting some rest, it's now 10 to 3 in the morning. Engine on, oh shit, I've done it again. Haven't done that for a while. Time remaining. Oh, yeah, we're going to be late with this job. Well done, mod. Why don't we just press the fuck prol? Yeah, mod done goofed, everybody. Let's get out of this car park. Which means we're going to get irritating music in our ear. Which means we're going to have to rush the job so we get rid of the stupid music. Oh, I fucked up good. Let's start with Monday morning. Wake up and I'm feeling quite crap. Quite rough in fact. And I get to work and there's only three people turned up on the one shift. Oh, we're okay, we're okay. Three people out of a 20 guy shift because they've all come down with this wonderful mystery illness. And they're all complaining of the same sort of symptoms. And people last week had been complaining about being ill and so when it comes to Monday hardly anyone turning up it was a busy day uh, so fast forward for Tuesday I'm getting worse Wednesday I've got a small pile of pills on my desk 
and I'm getting to the point where I'm refusing to drive machinery because I'm getting that lightheaded. Thursday, I couldn't take it anymore. I phoned in sick, called the agency, and I trusted them to contact the guys at Caterpillar for me because that's how it works when you're in an agency. They do the contacting for you and stuff. Oh, 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 don't do it, don't do it, Aldi driver. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm feeling a bit rough still already. And I've got, I've got to take a swig of some drink in a minute because my throat's starting to get quite dry. And, um, so Thursday, I phoned in. I had to wander into town with my little brother who's also coming down with this mystery illness and bought a couple of comic books just to get some fresh air mostly because it's only a 15 minute walk to town from where I live. Fresh air is a lot better for me, I suppose, than sitting inside a nice, tiny, cramped room. So we went out, bought the comic books, and we got home. Everything's good. Friday, half eight in the morning. You can imagine, I'm a bit pissed off. I work 12 to half six. My hours have been changed in the last couple of weeks, so I work 12 to half six. Meaning I don't do a couple of the deliveries, I know. Which pisses me off, because I take that job quite seriously. But, um... <coughs> Yeah, so they phone me up at half eight in the morning, and they're quite rude about it. Where were you yesterday? I was off work, ill with the stupid cold thing. I phoned in sick. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I spoke to this person. Hold on a second. That person says you didn't phone in sick. That person says you're lying. And one thing I hate being called more than anything else in the world is a liar. I may, be, I may be a creepy pervert, I may be a bit of a shit friend, I may be even a douche, but one thing I am not is a liar. So he says this, and I'm just like, okay, I'm not lying. But anyway, it's a good job um, you guys have heard me up, because I wanted to say I'm not going in today either. Sorry, what was that? I'm not going in today either, I'm still ill. I'm really lightheaded, I can't drive the heavy machinery. Because a lot big part of my job is driving heavy machinery. Hmm. Huh. Ah, that's better. So he says, oh, one second then, I'll have to put you through to my manager. So along comes the boss of my agency. And he's quite rude to me on the phone, actually. He says, what's going on? You can't have time off. I'm ill. I have this stupid head cold thing. I, If I go into work, and because of the, the nature of the job, handling heavy items, working with heavy machinery, and that lightheaded and that dizzy, if I drop something, I'm either going to hurt myself or I'm going to hurt somebody else. And I don't want that on my head. And the guy's quite furious. He says, I've been in work for... I've been working in this company for ten years. And I've had one day off. You've had more than one day off this week alone. I'm thinking, no I haven't. I've had one day off this week. This is going to be my second. And prior to this, my only other time off was back in February. When I had best part of a week off because of my IBS which finally got diagnosed back in February so he basically says that if I didn't go into work on Friday I was going to be sacked so I'm just sitting there in silence on the phone while he's ranting and raving at me and eventually just are you there are you still listening yeah I'm still here I'm listening to what you're saying are you going to go in today then I suppose I better had, hadn't I? Yeah, I suppose you better had. And then I hung up on him. I'm quite angry at this point because I'm ill. If it was just working in a shop, I'd go in and share my germs with all the customers because I'd hate the customers. But I like my workmates. I don't want them to come ill. God knows, enough of us have been off the last week as it is. Three people turning up on Monday. That's quite awful. And then I've come down with it. I don't want to go risking getting anybody else ill. I don't want to drive heavy machinery. And oh shit, we're going fast. 65 mile an hour. I think that's a new speed record, Tildy. Excuse me. Can we go faster or are we being limited now by gearing? I think we're being limited. Oh, got a cough. Excuse me. So I get into work at 12 o'clock. Yes, yes, yes. We're not going to arrive on time, we're going to be late. And here's the music. We're stuck in the music now. Time remaining. Bye, bye. We're not going to do it. Not by a long shot, because that was stupid. So, I get into work. 
And the guys, they see me, they're like, oh, how are you? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm, I can't walk in a straight line at this point. I'm fr sweating from side to side a bit. My eyes are all watered up, my nose is running, and I'm in no fit state to be there. I nearly crashed driving to work. Basically what happened was, I'm driving down the motorway, and I checked my blind spot. This is what I did, checked my blind spot. Looked forwards, still looking forwards, and then moved into the blind, into the part of the road. Rather than just checking and then moving across, I left it a good minute or two before moving across. And, and then I wondered why I nearly stuffed it into someone that was coming too fast at my rear end. And I'm thinking, yeah, I shouldn't be working today. So, I don't know if you... I, I think it's very unlikely that the guy I cut up quite badly will be watching this, but in case I did, Mr. BMW driver, I, I'm really, really fucking sorry. I really am. Oh, God, it's raining. Lights on. Wipers on. I do not like that being done to me, and I could have caused a serious accident just from going to work in the state I was in. So I get to work, and the guy's asking how I am, and they say, okay, not a problem. Just uh, do what you can. Stay inside. Don't drive the trucks. We'll look after you. We'll make sure you're okay. Just do what you can. Don't overdo it. Don't hurt yourself. And they did. They looked after me. And I got the best workmates in the world. It's one of the best jobs in the world ever anyway, apart from doing YouTube videos, but it, I got a great, great support crew at work and I support them when they need it. So as I mentioned, the supervisors were in the meeting. They eventually come out. One of them goes outside for a cigarette. The other one, he comes back into the warehouse to get ready to go home because he's had to work over because of this stupid meeting. He sees me, immediately comes walking up, offers his hand and says, Mr. Mod, I wasn't expecting to see you in today, are you okay? And he says, yeah, uh, well, no, actually. Actually, can we talk about this privately in the office? And he says, yes, of course, by all means. So we go into the office and explain the situation to him, and he says, really, they, the agency said that? And yes, unfortunately, the agency did say this. And that's when I found out that it wasn't Caterpillar that were threatening to sack me because of having time off. It was the agency. And there's a, a bit more in the conversation that happened that I can't really talk about. Just in case one of my workmates happens to be listening to this video. Not that it's actually going to happen, but you never know. But long story short, uh, the two bosses at Caterpillar have my back. It's quite reassuring. And the agency suck. And I can't believe they're going to threaten to sack me because I dared to have a day off. Because I didn't want to crash into anybody through being ill. Which I'm quite upset and offended by, I suppose. But, that's how it goes sometimes, being an agency worker. So I'm not too happy about work. But it's not work It's annoying me, it's my recruit recruitment agency. Once I get through this twisty section, I can look at the book and find out what we're talking about next, because I think we're finally on to channel updates after talking about the scams and everything else, and all oh, frame rates are becoming an issue. Stupid traffic go away, trying to drive here. Uh, illness we've covered. I haven't even played, ga played games much. Oh shit, frame rate, frame rate, frame rate. Really, really laggy here. What's going on, game? Maybe I should turn it down a setting or two. I've clearly got some sort of issue with recording. I'm finally going to have to admit. Okay, that's back up to a decent level. Ish. Uh, yeah, I'm going on holiday soon, guys! Yay! But, um... This last week I was supposed to be recording a massive backlog videos, F1, Euro Truck, etc, etc. Uh, so expect the next week to be quite uh, crap for videos. I'm going to try my best between now and Wednesday when I go away to actually get some videos uploaded for you all. Oh come on, this is really really taking the piss now. What's... Come on. Come on. Actually screw us for a giraffe. I'm cheating here a bit guys. I'm sorry about this. Options. Oh yeah, someone asked me what graphics am I on. Ultra. 
advanced settings, scaling 125%? Uh, 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 uh. Where's the rain setting? What's the anti... I don't know what that is. But oh yeah, basically all my settings are on high, by the way, guys. There you go. Gameplay... Rain. Off. I'll turn it back on at another point, but right now I clearly got something wrong with the computer. Let's turn the rain off and... No, it hasn't worked. No mind, no mind. Let's just carry on driving. Going away on Wednesday, trying to get some videos recorded. Got some F1 to do, got some Euro Truck to do. Want to try and get some Minecraft up. Minecraft is a priority because it's been nearly a month since I've done any Minecraft and I've got 4040 asking me where's the latest Minecraft. As part of me taking the YouTube channel more seriously, I've asked my friends in real life to get on my arse a bit more and to help out Mike2156. He's asked if he can join in every now and again and I've got no issue with that. Tort, you need to join in more often, you bone idle bastard. 4040, he wants me to get more videos done because he wants me to do well and also he gets video card out of it <laughs> uh, so I do need to get more Minecraft up um, I may have mentioned in the last video it's we've had our three year anniversary with Murtai yay very happy about that so um, thank you very much for everybody saying well done congratulations and all that much appreciated Murtai's getting quite beetroot now, thinking about people actually saying nice things about her. She's not too good to compliments. Never has been. But download should be fun for us. We've got to go away together. She bought the tickets, not me, her, because she's um, awesome. Oh, 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 shit, this is going to go wrong. This is going to go wrong. Oh, it went right, it went right. Fuck off, wrong way of fence. Bring up the map, please, thank you. Is it just me, or is this truck easier to drive since we put the extra wheels in the back? I think it is. Yes, anyway, uh, channel updates. 265 subscribers. Starting to, starting to push over the 250 views a day mark, which I haven't been able to capitalise on much because of having the stupid plague of doom. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. Nearly, nearly sealed. You're not suiciding today, my darling. No. I've had enough incidents in one video as it is. Um, just giving com slash mod one nine eight two will give me your money, or should I say, give Papyrus your money? Uh, questions? Yes, we'll get onto the questions. Uh, I'm getting more and more comments from people. I think I said this already earlier in the video. Getting more and more comments from people saying that it's my fault that you lot have bought the game. So it's nice that I'm actually a positive influence on you. All, I suppose. Thank you. <laughs> uh, first question from Caden Stormlord. Ah, uh, hello, Caden. You're the gentleman from Kerno, are you not? Yes, we do like a bit of Kerno. Oh, I think. Oh shit! 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 Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, oh, we're okay. We're fine. Time to kill a road sign, though. Yep, there goes the road sign. How is our lovely cargo? Oh, we're fine. Uh, hey, when? When did that happen? When do we get 8%? How rude. And my hands are all sweaty now. Fantastic. Well, we're late on the job. Yay. But we're managing, managing 24 tons here? Oh, I think we need a new engine, Tildy. <laughs> Can't ever not have a new engine for Tildy. Oh, what happens when we get to a high enough level and we run out of engines for you, Tildy? Shit. That's not good. Gotta have more engines for the Tildy. Tildy agrees. Gotta have more engines. <laughs> says Caden Stormlord has asked uh, when are we uh, are we planning on doing a walkthrough of Kerbal Space Cram 0 0.20 well, they're on 0 0.22 now I think just bug fixes mostly but um, the plan was Tuesday just gone we we're going to be doing that with 4040 but you know death plague illness I don't know if you quite got the hint during this video guys but I've been ill for last week uh, if people still want us to, because 0.2 came out a week or two ago now, it may be too late for a proper update. I don't know. But if you all want the Kerbal Space Program update video still, there's flags, there's some new parts, there's 
something else I can't remember off the top of my head that I really should check at some point. But basically if you still want us to do the Euro Truck update, then we'll I me and 4040 are more than happy to do that. More than happy. Right, 4040? <laughs> so yeah, just leave a comment as always, and we'll be more than happy to if we get enough people saying yes we want more Kerbal, then we'll do that. Uh, Crystal Clear Gaming, you're new to the channel, sir. Hello, how do you do? He asks who made the banner and avatar on my channel? And that would be me. And I believe I replied at the time that the banner needed updating because it's out of date because 4040 isn't on it. But now, a couple of days ago, I actually found the willpower and the effort to get onto Photoshop and update the banner. So now 4040's ugly mug is on there. And I think at some point we need to add uh, Warzak as well. We need to make him an avatar thing. And Mike needs to get added as well. I'd like to add the Gamosaurus, but I think uh, I I don't really know how far the collaboration with the Gamosaurus is going to go, whether it's just a collaboration or whether he's going to be a permanent part of the crew. I don't know. We'll have to see and we need to slow down for this toll booth. But uh, all the artwork on the channel is done by me and I also do any further avatars and artwork as required. For example, Watson690, he's got a Final Fantasy VII series on the go. And he's asked me, I should say asked, he's commissioned me to do artwork for all the characters. And to date I've done Cloud, Barrett, Eris and Tifa. The next one to be worked on is Red 13 and that's going to be the trickiest one of the lot because I have to do Red 13, he's the lion wolf crossbreed thing and have to do him in Minecraft style. It's going to be the trickiest one of the lot. It'd be easy to just do a wolf, but wolves don't look anywhere near as muscular as Red 13. So for, it's, a, it's going to be a big challenge. And I've got until Wednesday to do that. It's just to add on to my deadline of other things I need to do. Great. And I could have done that in the last couple of days, but again, illness. Blah. Um, where are we? Cooper24688. Hello again, young sir. How are you? Well, and he asks, what settings do I use? Well, I believe I covered that a couple of minutes ago, but I use ultra everything, it turns out. Uh, I might have to go into the advanced settings and maybe turn it down a tad. I don't get this graphical lag when I'm not recording. It's only when I'm recording and I seem to get some sort of massive issue with data throttling, where you, I've got so much data and it can't go to where it's going. And Mike has offered to help with that, and. I think it's something more fundamentally wrong because it's been like that since I got Windows 7. So I'll have to look into that properly. Uh, I did show that off already. So the last comment, I believe, is from our very own Dragonflame, aka Warzak85DF. And his comment. It was not so much a question, so more as a comment on the uh, Don't Drive When Tired episode, the last proper video we did. And he said that, uh, basically I mentioned that I wasn't entirely sure where we were driving and he said that we drove through the Czech Republic don't break in front of me like that you prick and we arrived in Austria so thank you very much for that sir, that's always handy to know oh don't start again lag Um, yeah I really got a bit confused driving around Europe last episode probably because I was so tired and really don't drive when tired and the moral for this story, though, is also, um, well, I think Watson said I should start doing a moral of the story more often. What should the moral for this episode be? Tell your workplace to fuck off if they tell you to try and do shit when you're ill? Although it's a lot harder when you're agency, so don't do that. The moral of this story is don't do uh, anything if you're not going to enjoy it, I suppose. I could have recorded videos during the last week for you all. But I tell you now, I would not have enjoyed it, and you lot would not have enjoyed the resulting videos. I'd rather leave it nearly a week, and then put a video out. Yes, we told it, yes. Uh, I'd rather do it that way, rather than just um, churning videos out. Horrible, crappy... You get the idea. I'd much rather do a, one good video than five crap ones. Which reminds me, late today, I am recording Formula 1 2012 for Watson. We've got round to recording India already, and I believe the next one is at Abu Dhabi, which I'm not going to enjoy because I don't like Abu Dhabi. 
Watson's also started a new series because he's getting quite good at the game now. He, his target is no longer to beat me. He's established long ago that I'm, I have no desire to be fast at Formula One. I just want to play it for fun. Uh, I don't want to play it to be fast. So his new target is Lewis, the Gamosaurus, and to help him get faster at this, he's playing a professional level championship with the Marussia, which is the worst car in the 2012 grid by a mile, apparently. He's happy with it. He's happy enough. But yes, um, up we go, up we go. At least the cargo hasn't taken any damage this time. I'm happy about that. Uh, there we go. Do 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 do. I think that's it for, in terms of the plan. Again, I'm really, really sorry for letting you guys down on Thursday. I really do not like letting my fans down. And I count everybody that watches these videos as a fan. Apart from the haters. The haters are just haters and they just get a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, money, money. Take my money. Stupid game. It's not a stupid game. What I'm saying, we love this game. Otherwise, we wouldn't keep playing it, and it's. I think it's about time we saw a train. I do not like the fact that there could be a train at any moment. You lot do! I know you lot do! All I get every bloody video now since the live stream is the train. Shit, 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 what the fuck? The train. Yeah, I'm looking at you specifically, Squirrel. <laughs> And that wonderful interruption was my mother in the middle of a recording. She hasn't done that for a while. Hello, Howard. How are you doing? Sorry, Ma. I'm recording, you goddamn cow, bitch. What do you say? I love lamb, Ma. Uh oh. And I'll just mess her throat up. Excuse me. Just have a little coughing fit there, I suppose. And this music is quite annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but I, I sh I'm not turning it off. No, it's bad enough to turn the rain off. And I do think we actually cap are capable of throwing this truck around at full speed now because of the configuration of wheels. There we go. That's what happens when you put extra wheels on it. It becomes more stable. Ha! I knew there's some good for it in the end. Ooh! Ooh! We could drive on that red. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. We're going straight on here? Yes, we're going straight on. Don't pull out me. Thank you. Oh god, now we're going. Now I'm starting to get some lag. 15 frames a second. Are we loading more stuff? I think it's entirely possible because we're loading. There must be a way of fixing this. Hmm, it's not Windows Defender, I've completely disabled that now. I think it's just when I'm recording. I'll look into it at some point. I'll have to, because it's it'll just piss me off otherwise. It can't be a running joke all the time, can it? No. Anyway, 14 minutes left now in this already late trip, and the cargo's still undamaged. I'm quite happy about that. Come on, frame rate, pick up before we hit someone like that guy in front, and that guy about to pull out on us there. Oh shoot. Whoa! Okay, I just went straight on at a crossroads that I didn't have the right of way on. And you just pulled out on me. Fantastic, and there's a car coming, so I can't overtake you. Okay, okay, I can live with this. Should I just hang on now? Get there in one piece, because we don't want to damage Tildy anymore. Oh, there goes another lag spike. Yeah, I'll wait. Only happens when I'm recording. Very frustrating. Ah dear. 
Well, it's been a fun two trips. I hope this double header type episode has been fun for you all. If this has been a format that you've enjoyed, then let me know. Although I should say that in my wonderful book of planning, it's gone on to four pages worth of actual planning. I before I do any type of blog style update for Euro Truck, I always write it down and properly plan it out so I can actually look down and just go, that's my plan, blah blah blah. Are we turning left into here? Yes. This is our turning point. I'm not feeling brave to, enough to do it two in a row. Okay, enough with the jitteriness. I forgot what I was going to say now. Completely forgot. Oh, I'm sure I remember mentioning it next time. Come on, game, stop lagging. And I've got to render this and upload it yet, fantastic. I thought we could say goodbye to the shiny intro today, but you'll get the nice. It's not the shiny intro, the shiny outro. But you'll get the intro. Oh, come on, 8 frames a second! There's nothing loading here! Okay, so there's nothing wrong with talking recording the external in the future then. That's it, now reverse. Three frames a second. Come on, game! Come on, computer more like. This is supposed to be a new shiny computer. Watson sod off. Because I know you're going to say something, Watson. Wow, that's impressive. One frame a second. Come on. Why, 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 why? Come on, why? What is going on here? What is going on? not going to be the first time we skip the bonus. No ho way Jose. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry about this by the way guys. Come on. Oh then again. We wouldn't want to watch it if it's all perfect all the time would we? Or would you? Oh. Wrong way. Wrong way. Hey, you're watching because I'm human. Because I actually do make errors. Oh, 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 that'll do. That'll fucking do. Straight away, back up to 60 frames a second. Fantastic. Holy shit, Tilda, you do make my life annoying sometimes. Okay, we've driven 7,621 miles in total. That's a very, very frustrating end to an otherwise enjoyable episode. I've been Mod, thank you very much for watching, and we'll hopefully see you in... Well, I'll be back on 
in over a week's time now, but we shall hopefully see you on Thursday for a general drive around. Bye-bye!